So the, <laughs> wait, I'm sorry, I'm already laughing. Let me compose myself, okay. So the Black Classical Artists of Louisville organization put on a traditional Negro spiritual vocal competition. And let me show y'all, <laughs> let me show y'all the winners. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. At some point, you just have to laugh at this stuff. Like, honestly, everybody in this whole shebang is trifling. All the white people who took it upon themselves to apply, the black people who let them, it's just. Everybody in this whole thing is a mess. Everybody is guilty, right? And I want to talk about this from the perspective of a black classical musician. Now, if you didn't know, I played the violin for a very long time. I played it all throughout college, went to Europe to play the violin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I'm going to talk about this from the perspective of somebody who knows something about music and knows that there is a serious lack of diversity in music, right? And I'm bringing that up because I decided to go on this, this organization's page and look a little deeper. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. Two out of the seven people in the picture is white. Go ahead and do the math. Two divided by seven times 100. That's 28.5%. Basically 30. So 30% 30 of the black classical artists of Louisville organization is white. That's what you're telling me? But then I take a moment to actually put myself in these people's shoes. Because that's something that I always exercise in my personal life. I always try to see where people are coming from and why they're doing the stuff that they do, right? And as a black classical musician... I'm well aware of the very, very serious lack of black classical musicians. I've been there. I understand it. There have been many times where I was the only black person in an orchestra, or maybe there was two or three of us in a whole big full orchestra, right? This is my thing though. Why on earth would your solution to the problem of the lack of black classical musicians be to let white people into the organization and even go so far as to let them win a negro spiritual contest are you kidding me are you kidding me this is my thing if y'all couldn't find nobody in louisville to compete in this negro spiritual competition then you could have posted on social media and be like hey look we're gonna we're gonna open up the the applicant pool you ain't gotta live in louisville but you gotta be african-american to be singing these negro spirituals you could have done something anything other than yo like what how about y'all start some sort of initiative like matter of fact let me tell y'all what i saw the other day i was in ann arbor right and um they had like signs posted it said yo they had some little catchphrase i forget what it was but it was about donating your instruments to the neighborhood school so they like if you got an instrument that you're not using anymore like can you donate it to these ann arbor public schools right so they're getting music into their schools now mind you of course ann arbor is full of white people i was only there because i went to university of michigan and i had to go up there and take care of some business last week but my point is this, how about y'all do something like that in Louisville? Be like, hey, you know, like we need instruments for the schools. We trying to start a music program in the Louisville public schools, get more African-Americans into this classical music thing, right? How about y'all do something like that to make sure that we have more black classical artists instead of just let, like, y'all, my mind is like boggled now. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that, you know, starting music programs in the Louisville schools, that's going to be more of a, like a long call thing. It's going to take years to see the benefits of that and the increase in adults joining the Black Classical Artists of Louisville organization. I get that, right? But again, instead of having white people with, y'all, I would have just, I would have scrapped the whole competition. If no African-Americans applied, I'd be like, we just not even finna have this because what? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is going through your minds, bro, to be this doofy? Like, you you got to be so doofy, bro. And I know good and well there's going to be some cornballs who come and comment. Because, again, I spent years, I spent years in orchestras and bands around these fools. They're going to come comment like, music is universal, my dog. Diggity, like, it doesn't matter. If it no, it's not. Some music is not for you. And this is that. Can you imagine a white person singing a Negro spiritual? Matter of fact. Y'all, I promise y'all this. Now, I'm not going to put the clip in this video because last time I did, it got like copyrighted or something. I don't think it got copyrighted, but like somebody claimed ownership of the clip. I don't know what it was, right? But I went to Blue Lake in 2014, Blue Lake Fine Arts Camp, right? And I was part of the International Youth Symphony Orchestra, right? But, but there was also a choir, 
okay? Now, we was, you know, we was buddy-buddy with the choir. Not really. We ain't talked to them for real. But we practiced with the choir sometime because we were playing, um, whatever that song is, bells are ringing, hearts are singing, but the whole actual symphony. That shit was like an hour and a half, bro. So the choir was there singing that, -da 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 -da, whatever, right? So I went and I looked up some of the choir's other performances. Y'all, they was singing Wade in the Water, a choir full of white people and two black people. Now, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, at least the black girl had the solo, I believe, right? But they still look crazy. It's a choir full of white people talking about God's going to trouble the water. Like, are you kidding me? Do you know how you look? I would have been like, I'm not finna do this. I'm, I'm not finna do this, bro. Because like, you're singing the songs of somebody who is fleeing your oppression. First of all, not only can you never reach what they was feeling, that's just, you just, you'll never be able to get there. But also just, why would you try to anyway? Like, oh my God. On one hand, of course, there's blame to be put on white people because why would you apply to a Negro spiritual competition? Like, what, right? But then on the other hand, at some point, you have to blame African Americans because a lot of this shit happens because African Americans let them do this stuff. Like, are you kidding me, bro? You can, nobody at no point was like, no, nah, this is ridiculous. We ain't finna have no white people competing in this, much less winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, bro? Like, I just, I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. You know, at some point, you got to look at African Americans and say, some of this shit is our fault. No, y'all fault, because I'm not included in that. Some of this shit is y'all fault, because a lot of times, white people do what you let them do, bro. Like, you let them compete in this. You let them win. That's your fucking fault. Then this is my thing, okay? So, the page had posted a picture that, again, had some white people in it. It might have been a picture that I had put in this video. I forget which one because I scrolled past a couple of their pictures and it was white people in, in most of them, right? And this white girl commented, right? She was like, thank you. Like, I love the diversity, my dog diggity. Why everything for black people got to be diversified? I'm confused because if I saw a page that was like, oh, yeah, this is the Chinese classical musicians of whatever place, I would only expect to see Chinese people in that bitch because that's the Chinese organization. So why when y'all look at a black organization, y'all looking for diversity? Bitch, you should only expect to see black people in this bitch. But again, bro, like I said, some of this is our fault because they be so comfortable because we be letting them get comfortable for real. I'ma be so free with y'all. I can't even sing. And if this organization had called me and been like, Flowers Out, we don't have no African Americans for this this Louisville uh Negro spiritual competition. Bitch, I'd have hopped in my car and I'd have drove them five hours. I'd have got there in like four and a half, maybe. Bitch, I'd have been on that stage. Flower tower, got these K folk, man. It's such a motherfucking shame. They smell like mildew dogs and fresh honey.